What's up my fellow shield bros and welcome in. It's the shield bro here for the history armada and today we are discussing the history of the name Britain. What does Great Britain mean? What does the United Kingdom mean? Where do those terms come from? So we will be looking at the linguistic and cultural background of these terms and how they are used now and how they were used back in their creation. People often mistake the term United Kingdom to mean the whole of the British Isles or for the name Britain to indicate only the United Kingdom. However, this is not the case. The word Britain dates back far into history and has many uses and rises and falls throughout its usage of history. Britain comes from Latin, Britannia, via Old French Britain and Middle English Britain, possibly influenced by Old English as well probably from Latin again being Britannia. Ultimately, it was an adaptation of the common Britonic name for the island Britanni. The earliest written reference to the British Isles derives from the works of the Greek explorer Pythias of Massalia. Later Greek writers such as Diodorus of Sicily and Strabo, who quote Pythias's use of variants such as Britannicae or the Britannic Island or land and Neso Britanniae the Britannic Islands see we're getting closer there Britannic Islands with Britanni being a Celtic word that might mean the painted ones or the tattooed folk referring to the, the decoration that the Celts of the British Isles had the name Britain originates from the common Britannic terms Britanni and is one of the oldest names for Great Britain an island off the northwest coast of continental Europe, as you can see there. So the terms Briton and British, Briton being B-R-I-T-O-N as we referenced in the King Arthur video, similarly derived refer to its inhabitants and, to varying extents, the smaller islands in the vicinity. British Isles is the only ancient name for these islands to survive in general usage. So the name itself has to do with the changing of speech from Old English and the fading of the Greco-Roman usage. In Old English, or Anglo-Saxon, the Greco-Roman term referring to Britain entered in the form of Britannia, B-R-Y-T-T-A-N-I-A, -T -T as attested by Alfred the Great's translation of Orosius's Seven Books of History Against the Pagans. The Latin name Britannia re-entered the language throughout the old French Britain. The use of Britons, B-R-I-T-O-N-S, for the inhabitants of Great Britain is derived from that old French Breton, the term for the people and language of Brittany, itself derived from Latin and Greek. It was introduced into Middle English as Brutons, B-R-U-T-O-N-S, in the late 13th century, Hence, where we get Breton and Britannia, or Britannians. However, after the Anglo-Saxon period shown here, Britain was used as a historical term only. Geoffrey of Monmouth, in his pseudo-historical Historia Regum Britannia in 1136, refers to the island of Great Britain as Britannia Major, or Greater Britain to distinguish it from Britannia Minor, Lesser Britain, now known as Brittany, the continental region which approximates to modern Brittany, which had been settled in the 5th and 6th centuries by Celtic migrants from the British Isles. The term Great Britain was first used officially in 1474 in the instrument drawing up the proposal for a marriage between Cecily, the daughter of Edward IV of England, and James, the son of James III of Scotland, which described it as, quote, This noble isle, Calet Great Brittany, G-R-E-T-B-R-I-T-A-N-E-E. -E. As noted above, it was used again in 1604 with the same description when King James VI and I styled himself King of Great Brittany, France, and Ireland. So that's where we start seeing that being used in association with the crown. Following this, as we see here with King James VI and I of Scotland and England, styling himself that way, we start seeing the subjects being referred to as British. This is the first time, and 
Brittany subjects, B-R-I-T-A-N-E-E. -E. And then, officially in 1801, the name of the country was changed to United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, recognizing that Ireland had ceased to be a distinct kingdom, and with that Acts of Union 1800 solidifying this, and had become incorporated inside of this union. So that's where we see United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland come from. In contemporary usage, therefore, Great Britain, while synonymous with the island of Britain, and capable of being used to refer politically to England, Scotland, and Wales in combination, is sometimes even used as a loose synonym for the United Kingdom as a whole. That's where this comes from. That's where this kind of confusion comes from. It's because of the Union and this contemporary usage that we see it become this loose synonym that allows for the United Kingdom and Great Britain to be confused and oftentimes interchanged. But, as I have shown, that was not the case indeed. However, the term Britain encompasses far more and has a rich history of origin originating all the way back to that ancient Greek and Roman usage. So as you can see pictured here, we have the United Kingdom, modern day, which signifies Scotland, Wales, England, and Northern Ireland. You can see England, and then Great Britain, which is just that British Isle, Brita Ma Britannia Major, the bigger one. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you learned a little bit from the short video about the history of the term of Great Britain and the name Britain and how we arrived at its modern usage and the contemporary meaning. If you have any comments, suggestions, or concerns, please make sure you drop that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all of them. If you like this content and you would like to see furthermore, please hit the like and the subscribe button and check out the rest of the channel. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I am the Shield Bro for the History Armada, and this has been your weekly dose of history, and until next time... Thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.